This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the Dow Jones rose, notching its best month since January. The Dow finished April 2.5% higher. The S&P 500 logged a 1.5% monthly gain. That's its second positive month in a row, while the NASDAQ ended the month only slightly higher. The market rose following the rise in earnings. Just over half of S&P 500 companies have reported earnings thus far, and of those companies, 80% have beaten expectations. That beat rate is roughly in line with the three-year average. GDP increased by 1.1% over the quarter, down from 2.6% in the final three months of 2022, and well below most economists' expectations of 2%. Well, that was the bad news. The good news is there are plenty of reasons to believe the slowdown was temporary. Chief among them is a huge swing towards businesses relying on inventories rather than producing new goods, and thus not contributing to the current GDP. It's also a trend that's likely to reverse quickly as consumer spending jumped by 3.7% in the first quarter. That's the highest quarterly leap in nearly two years, as Americans, as they always do, continue to spend. Underlying that robust spending is the continued strength of the job market. Now, jobless claims increased slightly, but the unemployment rate is still hovering at near historic lows. The Fed's preferred inflation gauge, this PCE, the Core Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, rose 4.6% year over year in March, above the figure economists had anticipated. However, it did decelerate from February when it was up 4.7%, which is encouraging news for the Federal Reserve. But inflation is still running at more than double the central bank's 2% target giving the Fed an excuse to hike interest rates by 25 basis points at the May meeting this week. Many believe the May hike will be a dovish hike, meaning the Fed will likely pause, and this week's PCE report supports that probability. So overall, good month, and so far, a good year. The stocks and bonds up for the year. Earnings have impressed, and the economy, although slowing, is still growing. Disappointing only the pessimists and the perma bears. For them, I only have one thing to say. Investing is hard, and when it comes to investing, it's okay to be wrong, but it's not okay to stay wrong. And so far, in 2023, if you're not long, you are totally wrong. Hey, my son Ryan and I have 70 years' experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, gold-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call right now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 6692, or just simply give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-P-L-A-N-N-Y-C. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.